Atari 50 Review It is usually more desirable to play video games on their original hardware. Many of Atari's arcades from the 1980s opt for joystick designs, such as Centipede's trackball, Asteroid's buttons, and Tempest's spinner. Even strangers are the choices for its home consoles like the 7800 and Jaguar. Playing these games in a restricted environment, such as an arcade hall or convention area devoted to classic gaming, can be a great experience. Fortunately, this collection provides an extensive documentary plus design docs and artwork. Furthermore, it has plenty of examples that inspire people to try out older titles they've likely never heard of before or have dismissed due to outdated interface controls. Thankfully modern D-pads and analog sticks help improve playing these games compared to the vintage Atari 2600 joystick which performs poorly. Atari 50's emulation offers some modern features such as one save state, customizable controls, and a CRT-like filter. However, rewind or perfect playthrough options are not. The collection is mainly comprised of Atari 2600 games followed by arcade titles. With the remaining 103 choices a jumble of options from systems such as the 5200, 7800, and Jaguar, handheld links, and Atari 400-800 PCs. Of all these, favorites are arcade games but they usually suffer the most in emulations. Out of all Atari 2600 titles, there are very few that draw attention anymore due to their simplistic nature. But still, understand their importance in history and can appreciate their creativity and programming tricks that make them so remarkable something that the Atari 50 compilation aims to demonstrate through your pleasure or even guidance. Unfortunately, there are some important omissions in the Atari 50 collection. Missing titles include Star Wars, its vector spin-off The Empire Strikes Back, Raiders of the Lost Ark for 2600, and Alien vs Predator for Jaguar. These beloved video games based on popular licenses are not included here. Although they did manage to include E.T. The extraterrestrial, licensing issues still plague this collection as it does not contain some of the most iconic pop culture related titles from the era one Atari. And Star Wars logos were featured along with some of the most advanced games at that time. Even the extra features in documentaries do not provide us with a single piece of this glorious period. Atari 50 shines with interviews of Atari personnel, developers, and other creators. Viewers get to see magnificent video clips of the Pong factory during the 1970s. As time passed, fewer and fewer people were thrilled to discuss Atari in the documentaries covered, and sadly, the 90s weren't as well documented as the 80s. While it's noteworthy that a few crucial voices from Atari's past are documented, the interviewees don't recognize each and every individual who was associated with Atari at that time. Women of skill played an important role during the Atari era, however, none of them have been involved with these videos. It would be great to gain insight from other contributors, stories from those associated with art and marketing during this era remain a mystery. Unfortunately, journalists, historians, and collectors have not been consulted yet to give more context on this company's history.